Well, tomorrow we are supposed to have a big snowstorm. And so I decided today I was gonna make my way towards Adamstown um, and maybe visit a few antique malls. And the first stop on my list was Mad Hatter's Antiques. So we are here today and we're about to head in and see what we can find, do buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. and welcome to my channel. Okay, well we neglected this booth the last time we were here, but this is Tommy's $5 booth. So everything in this booth is $5. And you can see here, I kinda really like these. I'm not sure who makes them though. There's no markings, but I love the floral patterns with the bugs. Looks like a little spoon slot right there. Um, I think they're five dollars each, but those might be worthwhile. All right, so I brought those up front. I did notice there was a little chip on one of them, but I feel like at five dollars a piece, it's forgivable. Sometimes you can't even get stuff at the thrift store for five dollars. <laughs> and I like that little box. I think it's the cobalt and gold combination. I like. Oh, and it's Italian. <laughs> Italy hand painted. This shape's kind of like a an apple, I would say. It's only five dollars. Okay. I don't think I noticed this case the other day when I was here, but um, there is a moss or glass. Very light in there. We purchased one of those at um, Renninger's a few weeks ago in green, and I didn't realize at the time that that is moss or. I don't think I'd ever seen one before, or at least been aware of it. It's a really nice art glass down there as well. This one is $2.75. I like the pattern on it. But I'm not familiar with that artist. Looks like this booth has restocked a little bit. I purchased a brutalist owl out of here last week. And the space has been filled with a very neat chair. <laughs> this is also very cool. Teapot pottery sculpture signed. I'm gonna check out the bottom of that. Ooh, it's a little wobbly. Be careful. Oh, looks like it might actually be Raku because the bottom is charred like that. It's very unique. Obviously, it's just a decorative um, art pottery piece. I feel like we sold the other one we had that was decorative. Um, although that one was functioning, but it was an art pottery teapot. These um, little piggies are UCTI, I believe, is the maker of those. I don't know if those were here the other day either. Uh, but they've got $8 on the pair. And there's a little bit of money to be made on those. I guess I did leave the bell behind, and I don't really feel bad about it. <laughs> uh, down here, I was checking out um, this ice bucket. Hmm, I don't know. I would have assumed it was an ice bucket, but it's not lined. So they say it's a canister, and that's probably more correct. I thought at first it maybe was an ice bucket. The last thing I wanted to look at was this mid-century modern clock. Um, it is Danish design. They have $68 on this. You can see there it is signed on the bottom. Peter Bullock. Handmade in New Hampshire. Honduras mahogany. That is a beautiful looking clock. The lines of it are so clean, which is typical of uh, Danish design. It just occurred to me that I neglected this entire row of uh, booths the other day when I was here. I didn't. I don't think I even came in here. This is really neat. Oh, it's a TV light. Oh, that's neat. I might have to tip that up and check the bottom here in a second. Uh, this is a Hager, obviously. We have it marked. Funky Hager black vase. I think that is the peacock glaze. This one looks like it might be Italian. Yep, Italy dish with lid. Okay, 
Okay, well, I'm gonna check out that TV light, I think. I looked this over and I didn't see any markings on it. I'm afraid that at 125, I'm just not comfortable enough to buy it to flip for a profit. It kind of reminds me of um, Avatar, <laughs> that movie. <laughs> only she's not blip. Uh, this is only $2. This item has self-adhesive pad for attaching to any surface, uh, and it says, please fasten your seatbelt. So I almost wonder if this was intended to sit on a dashboard or something as a reminder um, to buckle up. For only $2, I feel like we could do all right on that. I'm going to pick up this Hager vase, the Italian pottery. I think that might come with us too. If it turns out it doesn't have a very high resale value, I have a place in my home for it because I love Italian pottery. Just as I was going to grab my coffee, I noticed this Hager striped bowl for $16. This is the black with the white stripe. I had one picked out the other week, but it was a little just too high for a resale. But this one at $16, I think is worth taking with us. Here are some really neat Christmas wreaths. <laughs> I almost called them ornaments. Technically, yes, they are ornaments, but they are definitely Christmas wreaths. And they are made with some vintage treasures. I especially love that one up there with the little putt's house. I did a really nice job on those. The last time I was here a lot of you pointed out this Potosi in the back and I had looked at that previously and I thought that it was a little too much um, to buy and flip for a profit. They have $75 on it. I think we might be able to get a little bit of a discount but I think I'm going to look it up uh, before I jump on that and then this was the other piece you guys pointed out the other day i think this actually matches the ashtray that we bought price on that is 65 though i think i'll see how the ashtray does before i uh before i pick up that okay, well i think it's 75 that's about what it's worth i found one that was eight inches and a half and that one sold i think for like 140. so considering this one's a little bit smaller 75 is probably more on point. Uh, the other the other item that you guys went crazy for is this. Um, it is a Dorothy Thorpe Lucite umbrella stand. Um, it's $250. <laughs> That's why I didn't bother to grab it the last time I was here. Um, because I had looked at it before and saw the price. Okay, so I'm back in the mid-century booth and I've found the Lucite. <laughs> And uh, I zeroed in on this little flower arrangement here. And they also have one in the back. Um, the reason I'm focused in on those is because the other day I purchased one of these. I bought the blue one. There's still two left. I might, I might take another one home with me today. Um, <laughs> but when I was trying to look up comps for these, those little flower arrangements kept on showing up. And I was honestly surprised with how much they sell for. Um, so for only $18 on this one and $28 on that one, I think I'm going to take those home today. And then um, I might as well take both of those those other arrangements. I don't know why. I just, I'm like, should I just take one? You know what? I'll take both. Well, I brought the other ones up front. This is the last and final one. This one is uh, $68, whereas the other one was $48 because this one has this under plate. One thing I noticed about these is they actually have the bulb that goes into there, whereas the blue one that I bought, the bulb just sat. It was one of those that you could put in the blow molds, and it literally just sat um, in the flower arrangement, and it wasn't wired in. Um, so, all right. The yellow one. I noticed this really cool set of glasses back here, and I think these are attributed to Osborne Kemper. We found two of them at the Goodwill once. Uh, they have $159 on these with the caddy. Cheer up. You could be at work. <laughs> They're just really fun drinking glasses. They weren't even on my radar until I saw some at uh, the Springfield Extravaganza. I think they wanted $250 for their set. Um, I feel like 159 is probably much more in line with what they're worth, um, especially since this booth does run 20% off um, on certain sale weekends. So I think this would be a great set to pick up on a sale weekend, but um, at 159, I'm not sure there's much room for me. Checking out the glasses, I noticed this lady, and I thought, you know what? She's really cool. She's got her little Scotty dog in her arm, and her tennis racket, and flowers 
in a suitcase. She's ready to go. She has everything she could possibly need to do anything she wants. She could go to the dog park or take a trip somewhere. <laughs> $29. A little bit of a chip on her nose, but I love her expression. I feel like she's a folk art piece. I'd love to know who made her, but I don't see any marks or signatures on her. It's possible it's under her skirt, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go there. Um, so I think we're gonna add her uh, to our pile up front. And I go from there. Okay, well it does not look like there's any new Hager here since the last time we were here. They do have prices on these black and white um pottery pieces but those were the ones that I just really wasn't sure of at those prices although it just occurred to me that that little um that little one we picked up probably originally had a lid so it is missing its lid now I thought it was just a planner and I guess it could be used as a planner um and for that price I think it was $16 we'll just hold on to it but all right let's continue the other day I found a really neat uh, artwork, I think it was Japanese uh, block print, on this wall. And now I've neglected this wall in the past and I was just drawn to that particular piece. So I've decided I needed to give it a closer look this visit <laughs> to make sure I see everything. Because they do have a lot of really interesting artwork. All different styles obviously. This one's kind of Victorian. This one's kind of abstract, <laughs> so there's a little bit of something for everyone. This one kind of looks like a paint by numbers. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, AJ Anderson oil on canvas, impressionist style. This one is only three twenty-five, which I feel like is a reasonable price for that piece in that frame. That's a beautiful frame, in really good condition too. Okay, well here is one that I like. <laughs> I tend to buy artwork that I like, um, and it, it does okay for me. So I think I like this one because it's got all the critters on it. It's called On the Ball. The artist is M-A-R, and it is 23 out of 200. Um, and they say it's 1960s. That's kind of a fun artwork. It might be a contender for the nursery, so if you don't see it on eBay, that's probably what happened to it. But, it might get listed on eBay, I don't know. I think I'm gonna pull it down and bring it up to the front. This booth appears to have some primitives in it. Over in this case, there is a folk art bird tree. And I always check these out every time I find them. I have yet to find one in the Goodwill though. I feel like eventually my day is coming. <laughs> Um, this one is $375, and it is from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania Folk Art. I don't know why I didn't see this shelf the other day when we were here, but I'm noticing these little birdies. $7 on the green one. It's a, I don't know. It's kind of a mottled. I thought at first it was crackle glass, but it's just the texture of the glass. This guy... With his little pinched eyeball, looks like he could be Swedish. Blue bird, twelve dollars. I think for only twelve bucks. Oh, this little guy, he is iridescent. Carnival glass, eighteen on him. I think maybe I'll pick up the little Swedish guy. Check over here. <laughs> this is adorable. This is salt and pepper shaker little baby, but you can see this has unfortunately been repaired. I don't think I've ever seen that salt and pepper shaker before. Granted, I don't do a whole lot with them, but I've never seen that one. Here is a piano baby. Hmm. Uh, this horse back here. Hmm, that's an interesting texture. How much is he? Fourteen dollars. Hmm. I would assume he's probably made in China. That's a guess. <laughs> he's only fourteen dollars though, so we'll pick him up as well. This is the point where we bring our cost average down a little bit. That's pretty. What's a covered dish? Let's investigate. Oh, it 
is a covered dish. I was not expecting that. Balance it right there. What is the mark on the bottom? The most China made in China. Even though I like it, um, I think I'll pass on that. Here are some paperweights. In the back, I don't know if that's a Masonic. Yeah, Masonic, $12. Before I take off uh, today, I wanted to look inside this really cluttered booth. The last time I was in here, everything almost came toppling down on top of me. So I had to be a little careful, but it was definitely worth it the last time. So let's cross our fingers and hope uh, we come out alive. Here is a redware plate, dotty. There's a peacock on there. Peacock dish, $18. I'm not really sure who Dottie is, but I like the design on that. It kind of reminds me of Pennsylvania Redware. I'm not sure if that's the case or if this is a hobbyist piece the way it's signed. But I like the design of that and peacocks seem to sell well. There are also two vases here in the back that I want to acquire, so I'm going to have to rearrange this a little bit or we could just maybe... one of those. <laughs> Austria vase, $28. 28. Hmm. I don't know at 28. I do like the shape and the design of it. I don't know at 28. There's a coffee mug back here. This is Westminster, Massachusetts. Samson, 1989. $5.50. I would say that one's worth looking up, but no signal in this back little corner. Again, I'm going to take it for $5.50, though. And one thing I did not notice the last time I was in here was this back here. I don't know where to set it down because I want to check out the dish. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera. Let's look at this. Originals, USA, um, 420 no, that's definitely $28. <laughs> I don't know who makes that. This boat is only $49. Serving boat. Oh, I see. Oh, that's neat. I love the black and white. I think it's made of a loose type material or just maybe acrylic, plastic. Hey, you gotta be careful. I really like that, and for only $49. Hmm. It's unique. <laughs> it's it's pretty cool. I think I'll grab it for $49. This jewelry box has a very almost art deco design to it. Uh, this lady the bird. <laughs> I love the style and it's got the gold on it. The inside is lined with velvet. Um, I'm doing this one-handed so I can't open it to show you guys, uh, but that's fantastic. Okay, well that total spend today was $518. I think we got some really great pieces. Uh, the Lucite especially, I'm excited about that. Um, and that, uh, that boat that was really interesting. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. Uh, I'm gonna head on down the road to another antique mall. It's crazy to me that it is literally 65 degrees and tomorrow we're supposed to get six inches of snow. <laughs> but I guess that's just the weather in March. So um, I will see you guys at the next antique mall and uh, so long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.